In this problem, we have to find dy dx using implicit differentiation. So to do that, we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So here we have this entire thing, cosine pi x plus sine pi y, and it's all raised to the sixth power. So we're going to use the chain rule. We'll start by bringing down the six, so six, then leave the inside untouched, so cosine pi x plus sine pi y and we subtract 1 so we get 5 and then times the derivative of the inside function so let's see the derivative of cosine is negative sine so it'll be negative sine pi x and then chain rule times the derivative of the inside so the derivative of pi x is just pi that's because the derivative of x is 1. And plus, the derivative of sine is cosine, so we get cosine pi y times the derivative of the inside. So the pi hangs out, and the derivative of y is simply dy dx. This is in parentheses, and this is all equal to 0 because the derivative of 63 is 0. Let's go over that one more time. So you take the 6 and you bring it down. So we did that here. We leave the inside untouched. We subtract 1 and we get 5. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So you have negative sine times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of pi x is pi. And then here the derivative of sine is cosine. So you get cosine pi y and then times the derivative of pi y. The pi is a constant, it hangs out, and the derivative of y is dy dx. All right, so the easiest way to do this problem is to just to divide now both sides by this stuff here with the 6. So 6 parentheses cosine pi x plus sine pi y to the fifth. And then do that over here as well. 6 cosine pi x plus sine pi y to the 5. So this goes away. And we're left with all of this stuff here. So we have, I'm going to go ahead and put this pi up front. So we have negative pi sine pi x plus and then pi cosine pi y dy dx and this is all equal to zero over here. Good stuff. All right, so now uh, we simply have to solve for dy dx. So we'll add uh, pi sine pi x to both sides. So plus pi sine pi x plus pi sine pi x. All right, and then so on the left, this cancels. So we have pi cosine pi y dy dx equals this stuff over here. So pi sine pi x. All right, then you just divide by pi cosine pi y. A lot of pi's everywhere. So pi cosine pi y. And then divide by pi cosine pi y. Boom, the pi's cancel. So what, what are we left with? We're left with dy dx equals, let's see, sine of pi x over cosine of pi y. Oh, so close. I was hoping we'd be able to combine these, uh, but we can't. We can't say it's tangent because there's an x in the numerator and there's a y in the denominator. So there it's, you can't just say it's tangent, right? They, they, if they were both x's or they were both y's, we could say it's like tangent but um, we can't, so this is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. That's it.